guys, welcome back to my vegan kitchen. It's day 10 of Veganuary and today we're going to be talking about cookbooks. I have 10 million cookbooks. <laughs> That's an understatement. I have a lot of cookbooks. You know why? Because cookbooks give me a lot of inspiration. It's like when you like clothing and you buy a magazine and you look through the magazine, you get inspiration on outfits. Well, I get inspiration on what I want to eat and what I want to cook for parties, for every day, for holidays. Before we get into the cookbooks though, I would like to say cookbooks are very expensive. So the best way to peruse a cookbook is to go on Amazon, look through um, the cookbooks that are coming out. I've been through the list of vegan cookbooks on Amazon more times than I'd like to admit. <laughs> so another good way of uh, perusing cookbooks is to subscribe to a vegan magazine. I'm subscribed to quite a few. The number one one that I'm subscribed to is Veg News. That is an American magazine. It comes out, I think, about six times a year. Very good in cookbook recommendations. A lot of the times when cookbooks are coming out, they'll have like a little preview in here that'll give you a great idea if you're going to like the style of that cookbook or not. I also love uh, UK veg magazines. This one is uh, fairly new. This is the second issue and it just came out uh, November last year. Very nice. However, if you get a paper copy of the UK magazine, unless you're in the UK, of course, <laughs> I wish I was, um, it's very expensive. It's basically about twice the price. One of the, I'm not subscribed to this one yet, but one of the ones that I am subscribed to, uh, they give you a discount for a digital issue. So I am subscribed to that on my iPad and it's fantastic because I get it the day that it comes out. A lot of times when they're overseas like that, you have to wait a month before they will send over the paper copies. Oh, is that why I have all those cooking things on my Kindle? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of times the price of the cookbook will be about half if you get it on the Kindle as opposed to getting it paper copy. All right. Let's begin with the cookbooks now. This is the cookbook, very historic, that I went vegan to. We were shopping after Christmas at Barnes & Noble and I was perusing the cookbooks. I hadn't been vegan at the time. It was um, about the end of January, mid to end of January, and I saw But I Could Never Go Vegan. And I was very intrigued. I picked it up. And the recipe that convinced me to buy this cookbook and go vegan, watch, I won't be able to find it now, <laughs> was for pretzel dumplings. Ooh, that one was well used, wasn't it? <laughs> some pages in here with some stuff on them. But this cookbook was the cookbook. This is the uh, little sister to this cookbook. Another thing that I would caution, if you like one cookbook, Make sure you peruse the Little Sister cookbook because you may not like it as much. And I didn't, unfortunately. This one was phenomenal. This one was just okay. What was wrong with it? Um, it seems like this one had some amazing recipes in here. And then this one kind of had like everyday recipes. But I just, this one is just like hands down amazing. Okay, another cookbook that um, I started cooking out of a lot when I first went vegan is Vegan Cooking for Carnivores. I believe this is written by um, Ellen's, Ellen DeGeneres, sorry. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's freaking I, Ellen, man. Exactly. I always know her as Ellen. I never think of her last name. So this is written by Ellen DeGeneres' personal chef uh, that cooks or cooked vegan for her. I don't think he's her personal chef And Portia. Anymore. And Portia, right. This is a very good um, I Just Went Vegan cookbook. It's got a nice mix of junk food, transitional food, um, delicious uh, food that might not be so healthy for you. <laughs> it's got some good stuff in here. It got me through the beginning. I don't cook so much out of this one anymore, although I do have a few favorites like um, the author's wife's white bean chili. This has been a tried and true with our family. We love the white bean chili. 
so I really love this cookbook. All right, this one also somewhat from the beginning, the Oh She Glows cookbook. A lot of these cookbook authors also have vlogs and blogs. So they get started on a blog, they get popular, then they write the cookbook. Well, if you don't have a lot of uh, cookbook budget, look up their vlog, look up their blogs because almost all of the recipes from the cookbook are on the blogs. Save that money for the ones that you really want because you can uh, find the recipes that you're looking for on the blogs. But this is a great, great cookbook. I still cook out of this quite a bit. It's got some basic stuff in here. It's got some interesting stuff in here. One of the more healthier cookbooks. Not very bad for you. Very few, very bad for you. Very few bad for you recipes. And it has the multicolored carrots on the front. Which is Maddie's all-time <laughs> favorite. Again, this is the Little Sister cookbook that came out after this one and I made the mistake of saying I really love this cookbook. I'm gonna love this one too, right? Not as much. Alright, this girl will never disappoint me. <laughs> Chloe Coscarelli. I love everything that she does. She was on that Cupcake Wars um, show on Food Network and won it. She was a vegan baker. She's uh, gluten-free. This has some amazing recipes in here. I've cooked a lot out of this cookbook. She has very many cookbooks. She just opened a few restaurants. She has another cookbook coming out. I don't care if I'm gonna like it or not. I'm buying it. I know I'm gonna like it because I've liked every Didn't other Didn't you just cookbook. warn against that like three times? Except for her. She, she can't, she's perfect. She can't do anything wrong. <laughs> well, this one is specifically Italian too, right? This well, the cookbook? other one's Italian too. Okay. <laughs> All right, you can see there's a lot of tabbies on this one. We love Thug Kitchen. In fact, this was uh, also one of the cookbooks I was perusing when I bought the very first cookbook that I went vegan to. But I didn't get it that day. But I went back later on. After I had read so many reviews on the on their series of cookbooks that I said I have to have it. And if Bojack Horseman is in the inside cover of <laughs> the cookbook. Look at the dog with its leg how out. How could it be wrong? <laughs> I know, right? He's Mariahing. This cookbook is just fabulous. And there's curse words. Yay! Everywhere. There's curse words everywhere. <laughs> so if you can't handle it, don't get it. But they have some really great party food uh, recipes in here great stuff not so much healthy but it's a treat it is a real treat and it's a, these are showstoppers if you're going to somebody's house uh, for the holidays or for a party or something and you want to spread the uh, vegan message bring some of this food to share and people will be like oh I could eat that I don't care if it's vegan or not it's delicious okay this girl <laughs> this woman she's almost my age has been around Forever. She's been vegan forever, probably since the beginning of vegan. Issa. She's great. She's actually friends with the vegan zombie. And they do uh, quite a few videos together. Very good, basic, um, delicious food. Semi bad for you. Some of it's okay for you, like falafel burgers. I mean, if you want good basic stuff, it's in here. She's little turns it up a little bit you know like oh this is basic but it's pretty good <laughs> love her stuff i got this was uh the first cookbook that i got of hers then last year she came out with the vegan holiday cookbook i bought this one first and i like this one better whoa See? It's a little flip good job isa right because she just there's a lot of tabbies on this one too she just took it up an extra notch that was a reversal That's of That's a hefty there. book too. It's a very hefty book and it was a good value because I think it was, I think it was like 20 something wow. bucks. Wow. Hardcover. That's good value. Okay. Two years ago, I got my Instant Pot. Well, I need some Instant Pot recipes. Boom! <laughs> vegan pressure cooking. This is uh, a very good vegan pressure cooking cookbook. It's got a lot of basic stuff in here that you can augment. Hey, oh. mushroom soup. That's where I got the inspiration for my recipe for the mushroom soup. Great stuff in here. I've only got, I've only got a few left here, so are you on the list? Kathy Hilton says, Yasu is. 
All right, so my husband's Greek. He loves Greek food. When we got together, we ate a lot of Greek food. I went vegan. The only thing um, left to eat at the Greek restaurant is falafel. <laughs> Until this. Okay, so this has the most amazing photography. You just want to eat the page. This is the Greek food that I, yeah, that is like, <laughs> give me that food. I'm going to need to take a look at that later. Almost at the top of my list. Opa. Yup. Whoa. Right? Yes, you read that correctly. Field Roast. This is the company. The preeminent vegan sausage, snossage, everything. <laughs> Field Roast. Do they make snossages for dogs? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I call them snossages. This is, I wonder if this is actually like their secret recipes or they just made this because, you know. But <laughs> the stuff in here is like, Field Roast has always been like next level tofurkey for me. Sorry, tofurkey, but Field Roast brings the flavor. They bring the funk, they bring the jam. This stuff is amazing. Haven't really cooked much out of here yet. So I haven't had time to really delve into it. A lot of their recipes are complicated to make. Um, they take several days because it's like seitan and then you have to let the flavor set it. It's a lot. But the photography, very inspiring, very beautiful. It's a winner. The last one. I love this family. <laughs> this is Rich Roll and his family. His wife, I guess, wrote the cookbook, Julie. She's coming out with a new cookbook. I am already pre-ordering it. It's written by her, but they went and uh, took a trip to Italy, and it's all Italian vegan cooking. But the thing that's so special about this family, it's healthy. It's very healthy. It's ridiculously healthy. Not only do they have recipes in here, they explain everything everything that you need to know about healthy eating why to eat berries what berries to eat why they put certain recipes together to make it healthy it's got meditation in here it's it's about um eating food that has vibration to it's it's like beyond it's like next level this is like if you want to be healthy this is the cookbook for you if you want to do vegan healthy. They've even got vegan healthy junk food in here. I made the um, cashew cheesecake in here. It was heaven. There's him and his wife. Very nice. See now, they don't eat birthday cake. They had a birthday apple pie. Healthy. <laughs> With like organic sugar. I mean these recipes. There's like five or six ingredients and it's healthy. That's what you want. Sometimes you gotta be healthy. Sometimes you gotta be not that healthy. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is not that healthy. Oh. This one has a lot of oil and like um, Deo cheese and you know, but it tastes so good. Sometimes you gotta be bad. Sometimes you gotta be good. You gotta have that balance. Otherwise, mm. <laughs> All right, so the healthy cookbook, this one's even healthy, er, because it, <laughs> it follows the how not to die protocol in uh, Dr. Greger's book from last year, his how not to die cookbook, which lays out how you should be eating to prevent uh, diseases that can be prevented by your diet. So this also, beautiful, beautiful, uh, photography in here you just want to eat the pages he makes healthy food that looks delicious it tastes delicious again though a little bit basic this is not the kind of a thing that you would bring to a party and be like oh look vegan <laughs> and people are looking like oh do I want a birthday cake or do I want a baked apple I mean party you gotta cut loose but for every day this is fantastic. It's got a lot of healthy recipes in here that taste good. So um, maybe not as explainy as the Plan Power one, but uh, if you want the explainy part, just buy his book that is the How Not to Die.
This is the How Not to Die cookbook. So guys, let me know your cookbook recommendations. I really want to know. I have uh, some cookbook budget to spend and uh, I want to know what I should be buying in the upcoming year. I know Bosch has come out with a new cookbook. Very interested. It's on my short list. Chloe by Chloe. Coscarelli. Uh, the Rich Roll and his wife. Julie Piot. I'm very interested. So let me know. And I hope the January is going really great for you guys. Let me know what uh, kind of videos you want to see for the rest of January and subscribe for more. And until next time, much love.